Naltrexone basically is like an opiate blocker. So, uh, but at low doses, low doses of naltrexone, it very mildly blocks opiate receptors, tricking the body into trying to produce more endorphins. Mm -hmm. I explain it in my mind that when the body's producing more endorphins, the body's happy, and so the immune system's happy too, and it helps to regulate the immune system. So it uh, can often be used for autoimmune conditions like Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, yeah. uh, uh, even rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune conditions. It's not perfect. It doesn't work for everybody, but it's worth... Oh, and also chronic pain. Yeah. It can be really quite powerful for that, but you have to start even lower, like lower, lower doses. Lower, yeah, and make sure they're not on an opiate. And, and definitely not. But I made that mistake one time with a patient, kind of. Not like mistake, but more like... Uh, they weren't counseled properly by the doctor. There was a miscommunication. Well, I have withdrawal. But the LDN, uh, frankly, on the website, they're even now suspecting that the low doses that are being used for LDN are not, it's not an ex extreme contraindication. Right. It's not an instant withdrawal. Exactly. Yeah. The patient might have had, had instant withdrawal. But yeah. She was not very happy. <laughs> but this was like uh, years ago and stuff. Uh, it's, uh, it's just interesting because you're, playing in this field of low dose naltrexone is not something your standard doctor is going to prescribe and it's it boggles my mind how pharma hasn't jumped on ldm bandwagon it's like well i think it's our you know it, i don't think that there's a patent on the prescription anymore so which pharmaceutical company is going to benefit from pushing this yeah right there's like a marketing effort there's money that goes behind it and they should hope to make a profit yeah uh so the good news is it's relatively inexpensive. Yeah. And uh, it's when it works, it can be quite life changing as an anti inflammatory product. Right. So, so it should be something that people should bring up with their doctors when there's inflammation without knowing what the cause is. And this could work like for Lyme disease or uh, arthritis or, you know, autoimmune conditions.